How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review. And today's game review is Hades. Previously this game was released on the PC and the Switch. And now this game is available on the PlayStation 4 and 5, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series S and X. I'm basically going to break down everything to you from the story to the gameplay and the score at the end. So with that being said, let's start with the story. As the story goes, you are Zagarius, the son of Hades, and he wants to escape the underworld and make it to Mount Olympus to reunite with his family. However, it's not going to be easy because as your father will lay out different challenges and monsters along the way to slow your progress. But you have help of the Olympian Pantheon to help you out along your way. Uh, graphically, this game looks amazing at 60 frames per second, and the color, use of color is bright and vibrant. I mean, you have like, for example, Tartarus, which is basically the hell version of the underworld. It's dark and fiery. And you also have Elysium, which is like the heaven. And it's bright and it's vibrant. And as for the gameplay goes, uh, basically, you know, this game is a hack and slash taken in an isometric view. As you take control of Zagarius, he has three forms of attack. A primary attack, a magic attack, and a special attack. All threes are key, you know, in the survival through all these different rooms, all these challenges along the way. But luckily, he has the Olympian gods to help him. So basically, you do you get a gift from the gods that will help you. Like, say, example, Zeus gives you lightning. And based on the lightning, will help you take out some of the monsters along the way. But however, if you die in battle, you end up facing your father and you lose all your weapons, all your upgrades along the way. And you have to start all over again. So basically, like, this game has a, a, a returnal effect. Upon returning from death, you know, everything is different. It's not like the previous entry. Like, you know, we go through and know everything is. And so, nope, everything is different. So basically, you got to strategize different. So basically, going in Rambo style is not going to help you out here. Even though it's a hack and slash, but there's some monsters you don't want to go up close with melee weapons. Some monsters you want to take from long distance. Like, Sigari has a bow and arrow. You know, you can take out some of your enemies from long distance. And some of the other monsters, you can take them out up close with melee weapons along the way. It won't take you a long time, you know, to, to upgrade and progress through the game as you make your destination to Mount Olympus. And now, to the score. I give this game a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest news and reviews, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications.